Hi, I'm Justin, and now that we've mounted our tire successfully, uh, we've set f a standard air pressure of 15 PSI in here. We have no leaks. What we're going to go ahead and do is actually balance our tire, much like somebody would a car tire. Uh, the importance of balancing your tire is a couple different reasons. One is obviously vibration. An out of balance tire is going to create vibrations in the chassis which can affect corner handling can also affect your straight line speed and with the vibration you're also going to get inconsistent tire wear we could get tire degradation things of that sort even a really or extremely out of balance tire can actually physically be tough to drive on because you will have vibrations um, up through the steering wheel so that's the importance of it what do we need to be able to balance it we need a, a wheel balancer. A wheel balancer like this, um, which is available at J3 Competition as, a, as well as um, other cart shops, um, you're going to need wheel weights, which are going to help us balance it. A stick of wheel weights like this you can purchase at J3 or maybe your local cart shop. You'll need a set of side cutters to be able to cut your uh, wheel weights into pieces. Um, and then obviously your wheel nuts and a wrench to be able to officially secure this to the balancer. So much like you would put the wheel on your chassis, we're going to mount it right here on our wheel balancer. We have our nut, our 10 mil wrench, and we'll go ahead and do this for all three. Now that our wheel's mounted to our wheel balancer, the next question is how do we actually balance it? Um, what we need to do is we need to find out where, if anything, there's a heavy spot on here that we can then counterbalance with one of our weights. So basically, if you can tell, this is basically just on an axle. So just give it a light little spin, and the wheel is going to keep going and going if it's out of balance, and it will eventually settle. And when it settles, what happens is your heavy spot naturally will fall down here to the bottom. So you just kind of want to wait until that happens. You can give it a little bit of a tap here on the back with a little piece of plastic just to kind of let it settle. So as it settles here, we can tell that our heavy spot's right here. It's a little bit above our uh, green MG mark on our tire, which is a decent reference point. So what we need to do is we need to counter. So go to the opposite end. So we'll go to 12 o'clock here, and we're going to put a piece of our wheel weight on the back. Now this can be a little bit tricky too because you'll ask yourself how many pieces do I put on? Do I put on this whole stick? No, start, I recommend starting with one piece which is typically going to be around a quarter of an ounce. Um, from that point then you can always add. It makes it a little bit easier, a little bit less confusing. As you, you do this more often you'll have more experience and you might be able to do two or three at one time. Um, but again, let's start off with one. So we'll just take our cutters, we'll cut one piece off of the entire stick. The back side of it's got a little protective film which is protecting the sticky backing. So we're going to go right here on the back of the wheel at 12 o'clock. We're going to press down, make sure we get good adhesion. And then once that's pressed, in order to check if we have enough weight, we rotate that 12 o'clock unit over here to 9 o'clock, basically and then we let it see how it settles. We can tell we put the weight here at nine o'clock, it's rotating clockwise. So we know that we didn't put enough weight on it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut one more piece, one at a time, like I mentioned. So we'll cut one more piece off. We already put the one weight on, so we know where that's at. So we find that with our hand and we bring it right back here to 12 o'clock. And then we go ahead and we install our second weight. Put that on, give it a good press. We bring it back to nine o'clock. Just give it a little bit more of a press. And perfect, we brought it to nine o'clock and now we have a balanced tire.